This week, baby is the size of a cucumber. Welcome to Pregnancy Week 30. Hey everyone and welcome to week 30. That is just insane. You know, you know you've hit a milestone when you get to that 3-0 because you know like baby if they did come now they've got an awesome chance of survival and like the baby looks like a baby right now it just needs to put on more layers of fat or whatever so this week is um i said in the intro baby is the size of a cucumber i happen to have a cucumber right here that just looks kind of weird like mind you if you cradle it in your arms i don't know if you can see but if you cradle it in your arms that's like the size of a baby. That's just, that's curled up in my stomach. That's just crazy to think that. Um, I don't really eat cucumber. I mean, I'll eat cucumber in a salad, but I don't really know what I'm going to use this cucumber for now that I've brought it and used it for my intro. <laughs> so we've had a pretty good week in the way of like, uh, my midwife appointment went well. I haven't really had any who like, my symptoms are the same every week, like sleep deprivation and exhaustion. That is it. Like sleep deprivation is from just I literally have pregnancy insomnia. I just I, I just I just can't sleep, you know. You got you lay on your side and you just got this huge bulge hanging out and you can't lay on your front and you can't lay on your back because then you can't breathe and <laughs> it's just it's just uncomfortable. So that's only my main real like complaint and then obviously um running around after a toddler during the day is just exhausting anyway and so I'm just tired but um there's also another reason why I'm probably feeling a little more tired than normal and that is because my blood test results came back and my iron stores are now 13 <laughs> um which is pretty darn low so um, I now have to go to the chemist and get myself some iron pills so my midwife um, gave me a prescription for that so um, I had my midwife appointment because I have them fortnightly now um, but I also had a first year midwifery student along with her um, so she's got two children of her own and um, so and she just decided she wanted to become a midwife and her midwife it was my midwife and so my midwife knew her and thought she would be a good match for me and just wanted to know if I would consider having a first year trainee come along to all my appointments and possibly the birth um, and a first year isn't meant to do anything they're literally meant to be there along the journey with you um, just to watch the journey basically of being pregnant and then giving birth you don't have to have them at the birth if you decide they're not right for you then you can get rid of them you know it's, it is all up to the mother but I am wholeheartedly into giving people a chance to learn I mean I hate these days how all these jobs or careers I should say like you go to uni and you sit down in a classroom and you read from books it doesn't work like that a lot of the time. I wholeheartedly believe in hands-on getting in there and actually doing stuff. So um, even though she's a first year, I let my midwife know that I was completely happy with her letting the trainee um, do some stuff. So feel my tummy, use the Doppler, um, and it was really good because um, being a first year and we're only in March so she's only been at uni for what a semester so far not even a whole semester if, if it started in January February I don't actually know um, so my midwife got her to feel my tummy and try and feel the fundal height and she was really struggling with feeling that even though my midwife said I'm a good candidate for that because I've got a nice tight tummy you know like not many wobbly bits which should be like a compliment I guess but I've got wobbly bits everywhere else <laughs> um so yeah she was really struggling to find that fundal height and I was saying to her you're pressing too gently like seriously push down <laughs> and no she was really great and I think I'm going to get on well with her and I'll be completely happy for her to come along to the birth um at this stage things could change but at this stage I'm I'm happy for her to come along I've invited her to my next scan which is in two weeks just to double check that Mila is even if she is still a little small as long as she's still growing 
Um, so I've got another scan in two weeks, so it'll be really exciting. I can't wait to see Mila again and get another photo, <laughs> another scan picture. So um, I've invited her along to that. So other than that, um, she's still head down and she had a heartbeat of 150, which is pretty consistent every week. And that's it. Not even kidding you, that's it. So I've filled up the rest of this vlog with other random stuff. Um, I've got some baby bites here to show you. I have a bunting to show you. My very, very first bunting for Mila's room showed up in the mail. And I was beyond excited. So I will talk about that as well. But um, I just want to talk about some um, vlogs I've got coming up. Someone asked for a, um, a review on... Roman's pram because it's um, got 18 different ways you can use it and it's it's a pretty neat pram I really like it but um, I'm actually going to not do that vlog until Mila is born because excuse me just because um, we only have one seat at the moment and when Mila's born we will also have the car seat converter that puts it on as well as a second seat and the bassinet so I'm thinking I'm going to wait until I've given it a go with all those things and then I can give a proper review um, otherwise um, I can't really talk about stuff that I haven't used so at the moment we've only got the one seat and that's all we've needed with Roman because he wasn't a baby when we got it so um, give me a few months after M R Mila is born and I will do a review on the pram which is a Baby Jogger City Select. It's a very cool pram, so go and check it out. Um, I'm going to be doing a vlog on freezeable dinners because about three or four weeks before meal is due, I'm going to really get stuck into the kitchen and do a whole heap of freezeable dinners because that is one thing I found with Roman was that I was just dog tired in those that first month. Is just it just drains you. And the last thing you want to do is go and peel potatoes and boil some pasta and whatever else. But um, uh, Stacey came over and she made some freezer, freezer meals once Roman was born and some banana cakes and stuff. And it was wonderful. So this time I'm going to get ahead of myself and I'm going to make them before Mila gets here. So I would love your ideas in the comments box below for ideas of your freezer meals, um, your favorite freezer meals, meals that freeze well. Um, and meals that you can kind of just grab out of the freezer and literally chuck in the microwave or chuck in the oven. Um, so I'm thinking like pasta snacks, lasagnas, risottos, but yeah, if you've got any ideas, please leave them in the comments below because um, I'll make a little vlog on that. Another exciting vlog that I'm going to be starting in May when I am 30 or 36 no 35 weeks pregnant or something I'll be something pregnant I am going to be doing daily till baby so um basically daily to baby vlogs are day in the life vlogs but it's going to be every day for the month of May up until she's born because she's due 2nd of June so hopefully it won't be too f much further after the 2nd of June that she's born um and I, I cannot guarantee that I will get a video out every single day because I feel like my life is very consistent and we do the same thing a lot and there's a lot of routine um, which helps with Roman and Roman's behaviour and um, so there may possibly be days where I don't put out a vlog and it's purely because I'm like well check out the vlog from yesterday that's literally what we did today <laughs> but um, I think they'll be really exciting and the reason I decided to do that is because I feel like we didn't get a lot on camera in the days leading up to Roman's birth. In fact, I don't think we got anything. We got a 35 week pregnancy vlog and that's it, you know. And so this daily tour baby will be a chance for you guys to look into our lives and maybe catch me going into labor and yada, yada, yada and thoughts and feelings and all that. But it's also the fact that I'll be able to look back and have all these amazing memories of the days before Mila arrived. So. Um, I think that'll be really cool. Um, so if you want to come along on that, just what, keep an eye out for the Daily Tool Baby vlogs. Um, if you've got any ideas on what you want to see in the Daily Tool Baby vlogs, um, leave them those ideas in the comments box below as well. But they'll pretty much just be day in the life, so I think. Um, as well as that, you know, I've got the hospital bag and the, you know, nursery tour. Um, so on to the next thing, speaking of the nursery tour, I really want you guys to get those buntings and ASAP only because I really want to be able to put them all 
um, up so that they're seen in Mila's nursery tour. So if they come after Lips, that's absolutely fine. Like it doesn't matter if you send them two months after Mila's born, that's fine too. But it's just if they, if you want them in for life in Mila's nursery tour, because it'll be on YouTube and watched by people who don't even watch my journey, um, then you need to get them in before I do the nursery tour, which will be in May. Um, so I'm going to show you my very, very first bunting. And um, this is from a lady who has watched my IVF journey. And she um, now has IVF twins, boy-girl twins. And she is absolutely lovely. Like, I've been, um, I've been Facebook friends with her for a while now too. And when I opened up the parcel, there was a card. And it was just, <laughs> I love reading cards. They make me like get all warm and fuzzy. And um, some family photos, which was adorable. Seriously, the, your children are stunning. <laughs> They're actually stunning. You're very lucky. Um, so that was really cool. You know, like if you guys send me letters and stuff, include family photos because it's not creepy. To me, it's not creepy. It's like, it's like having a pen pal, do you know what I mean? So it's it's really fun and seeing you and getting to know you. Um, and photos are a really good way to do that. So definitely send them. I loved those photos, thank you. And um, some stickers for Roman, which was really cool. And Mila's bunting, which I'm going to show you right now. So how freaking cool is this? <laughs> you can tell she put a lot of effort into this. I'm not too sure if she wants to be named or anything like that. So... I'm just not going to say it right now and if you're watching this and you don't mind being named, um, just let me know and I'll mention you in my next vlog. So that is the bunting. We've got these gorgeous little bows with sparkle. We've got Mila's name which has been sewn on and then this really cool fabric and a bit of um, like minky. It kind of feels like a minky bit down the side but... As soon as I saw those bows up the top, I was, my heart melted. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so freaking cute. So that is the very first bunting. So I cannot wait to get some more and start putting this bunting together. Just looking at it now, that's going to look gorgeous in here. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get it together. So thank you very, very much for putting in so much effort into making her bunting. I really appreciate it and I really love it. Like... These, these are all going to tell a story, you know, when she's older. Um, I can't wait to tell you the story of these buntings when she gets old enough to understand about it. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Right. So please send your buntings and please, please, please send them in ASAP. Because I really, really do want your works of art to be shown in her nursery tour. Okay, um, before I get on to the baby buys, just quickly, I have two weeks to go to my baby shower. Um... Some people have gotten a little confused. My baby shower that I talk about in these vlogs is my literal baby shower, as in me going to a hall with my friends and family and having a baby shower. It is not an online baby shower. I don't actually know how to do an online baby shower. I know someone said, told me that Gabe and Jess, I've watched a couple of her vlogs. I watched the birth of her twins. Whoa. Don't watch that when you're about to give birth. Seriously, the screaming freaked me out. I was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but um, apparently she had an online baby shower and it started off all this trend of online baby showers for YouTubers. I don't actually I don't actually know how online baby showers work. So um, I was a bit confused by that when people were asking me, is this your online baby shower? I haven't actually got an online baby shower. So sorry about that. But um. Yeah, I just thought I'd clear that up because um, I don't want you trying to look for an online baby shower if there isn't one. So when I speak of a baby shower, I mean like physically with my friends and family baby shower. So I feel I kind of feel bad saying that now. So sorry that you're not invited. I'm pretty sure you probably can't afford to come all the way to New Zealand for my baby shower, which is a shame because that would be really cool. Um, I have a whole bunch of baby shower stuff to show you, so I'll be doing a separate vlog on that. And um, the newest vlog is of Mila's capsule, which you can just see a tiny little tip of right there. Um, and some people are saying, what is that capsule? Well, it's just, yeah, it's what we call it in New Zealand, a capsule, a baby, a baby car sick, basically. Um, other than that, let's do the baby buys. Um, go to expectnet.com because there is only two months left until this little girl is due. And um, you could win a prize if 
you get the most guesses right of her birth date, birth weight, time, yada yada yada. So go to expectnet.com, search for Baba Lucky, the link and all that is in the description box below. Um, so let's show you some baby buys that I got at the farmer's half price sale. It was nuts. Pregnant women are nuts. I'm not even kidding you. Um, seriously. They were just pushing like 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 there was they were gonna run out of clothes or something. Yes, I'm coming. <laughs> Alright, so I got these cute little boots. I actually went to the farmer's sale to get Rowan some clothes, so I, I didn't get much for me, like I just got some shoes. So I got some baby Ugg boots, which are flipping adorable. I got them for ten dollars. I might have even got them for less, but I haven't actually checked the receipt. These were also ten dollars. These are all zero to six months size. And then I got these tiny little socks. How cute are those? I can't wait to see some little tiny feet in them. Is that all I've got to show you? That's all I've got to show you. Okay, what else have I got on here? That is it. That's it. Like, that's, that's, that's my vlog. Because it's been an uneventful, unexciting week. So, um... Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of videos that have come out with the pregnancy question and answers and then Mila's thing. I've been on a roll, man. I've just been like, video, 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 which is pretty cool because I don't normally do that. And I've even rushed into this video. I haven't had lunch yet. I managed to get Roman down for a nap. I had to cradle him in my arms and rock him to sleep in his rocking chair, but it took two minutes and he was out. So he was obviously tired, but I was just rocking him and he was asleep in my arms and I could feel Mila kicking me and I was just like kind of made me feel a little bit emotional because I was like oh I've got my two babies just like right here my two little <sighs> can't even say it otherwise I will start bawling my eyes out preggy hormones um my two little IVF miracles which I am so extremely extremely blessed to have because you know I have a friend who just you know, spent so much money on an IVF cycle and it didn't work. She got no frosties and the one that embryo that she did have um, didn't make it. So she's not pregnant and I just feel absolutely gutted for her and it just makes me just really, really appreciate even more just how freaking lucky I am to have both of my IVF miracles. She does have one IVF baby, but um, yeah, like the fact that we got pregnant again even with pancake like we got pregnant with pancake but we lost it and we got pregnant again it's just like my body likes to be pregnant but it just doesn't do it on its own which is bizarre but um yeah so I just yeah I just had a really warm fuzzy moment cuddling Roman and feeling me the cook at the same time which is really nice so um let's get on to the belly shot before I start getting all sentimental um if you guys want to know anything or want to see a vlog on something, please leave um, leave me a message in the comments below and um, that'll give me some ideas on what you guys want to see. But I'm rambling now, so let's get onto the belly shot. Thank you all so much for watching and um, get those buntings in. Please, 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 please get those buntings in ASAP. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week when I am 31 weeks pregnant. Single digits, nine weeks to go next week, which is cray cray. All right, bye.